Hello my friends, I just started a new video series about open source reservoir simulations. I understand that Eclipse or CMD or other uh, reservoir simulation softwares are very expensive and sometimes it's very difficult to install those softwares and use those softwares for their regular petroleum engineers or students. So I started new video series to teach you how you can use open source uh, reservoir simulators instead of using for example Eclipse or CMG. So the best possible option here is OPM. So OPM is a, it stands for Open Forest Media and it's a open source uh, reservoir simulator that, that you can basically do anything that you are doing in Eclipse here in OPM as well. So let's start with the installing this OPM in your machine. So OPM generally designed for the Linux but also, you can somehow install that in the Windows as well. So if you have a Linux, it's a pretty straightforward, so you can follow the video after we installing Ubuntu that so you can escape installing VirtualBox and Ubuntu. But if you have Windows, so I also have Windows, so let's install OPM on Windows. To install OPM, we need to follow a few simple steps. Step one, we are going to install Virtual VM. So basically, we are going to install Virtual VM and then install Ubuntu in that Virtual VM, and then we are going to use Ubuntu. Then, of course, we need we need Linux Ubuntu. So we are going to download from here, and then we are going to uh, install this in the Virtual VM, and then we are going to use a ter uh, Linux terminal and going to run uh, OPM uh, OPM in the terminal, and then we are going to install OPM. And then we are going to install a uh, resin site to visualize our simulation there. And at the end, we are going to install res data to see the data, for example, to see well, uh, well pressure, well flow rate, and other things here. So let's start from the step one, which is virtual VM. To install virtual VM, you need to go to this website. I'm going to uh, should I'm going to write this link in the description and here you can go to the downloads and you can download virtual bugs for Windows and it's going to start download so I already downloaded that before so I have it here but it's, uh, after waiting for download this is pretty simple so you need to just double click on this and it's going, it's going to install just next, 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 and it's going to install in your system. Some There, there are one problem that I saw in installing VirtualBox is that if you use the older version of VirtualBox, for example, 5.1 or other things, so yeah, maybe your system, your Windows system is going to block that, so it's better to install the new version. So for my system, which is uh, Windows 11, 7.0.112 is working very well. So what you need to do, just click on next, 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 and wait to finish the installing. So I already installed, so I'm not going to reinstall that. If you install successfully, you are going to see something like this in your machine. So you are not going to have this one because, so this here will be empty for you, so we are well, you need to add it. So what you are going to have is it will be just MPT here. You don't have anything here, but you have new ad setting and so on here as well. So basically, we are going to add new uh, Ubuntu in this virtual environment. For that, we need to have Ubuntu. So for download Ubuntu, you can go to the Ubuntu.com, download for desktop. And you can download, for example, this version, which is 22.043. So you need to download this image for uh, Ubuntu. I already downloaded that and it's here. So I downloaded this image. It is a little bit large, so it's a 4.7 gigabyte. So you, after you download this one, back to your virtual machine here and click on new. And in the in new, you need to write a name for your virtual machine. For example, you can write you can write, for example, Ubuntu, I don't know, 22203, something like this. And then this is a location that you want to install this virtual 
mission so you don't need to change anything here and then you need to point the where is the ISO image for Ubuntu you already downloaded this ISO image in <clears throat> previous step so what you need to do is that just click other and then go and find that Ubuntu that you already downloaded and then just open it something like this so after doing this you need to click on next and when you click on next here is a default username and password for your uh, Ubuntu or Linux environment so you can change it for, for anything that you want so for example reservoir and then any password that you want you can put it here and then most probably you are going to have some space here so uh, if you have any space between Ubuntu and this one which is in house name you need to remove any space in the house name so make sure that you don't have any space here and then after that you need to just click on next and the way to finish this uh, running this Linux in your virtual environment so in the next you are also defining the hardware properties for example how much memory you want and how, how many processors for for my case I just use the 60 60 uh, megabytes and also for processors I just used three processors but it depends on you so you, and how heavy is your simulation so you can play with these two and then click on next and your virtual machine will be ready so this will be your virtual machine and it's going to also it's going to bring in this environment for you so which is the Ubuntu in virtual machine so if you install this uh, VM VM and the Ubuntu correctly this window is going to pop up in your in your computer and what you need to do is just write your your username and password that you already gave to Ubuntu and then then you can log in in your Ubuntu so basically what we did we created the VM virtual machine and we install Ubuntu in that virtual machine so we have a window functioning and also we have one VM that is Ubuntu is running in that VM so here you have a typical Linux environment and you have terminal so let's open terminal and you are going to see for example your username at Ubuntu and this is a terminal that you, you are going we are going to work and so if you remember from the service we already installed virtual VM also we downloaded Ubuntu and created a new Ubuntu environment in that VM right now we need to install OPM so to install OPM we need to open terminal and run all these commands so I already have these commands here as well so in case to save some time So let's put it here so in terminal you are most probably you are not in there as a you are not a root a user so if you for example write something like this in terminal most probably you are going to get some kind of error and it is saying that you are not a, a you are you are not basically saying that you are not a root user so you need to add yourself as a root user for that you need to run this command so root and right now you are the root and you are a user so if you write this command apt get update right now as you can see we don't have that error so basically we need to run all these commands one by one to install opm so next we are we need to write this one so I'm going to put all these steps in the description as well so in case you can just copy and paste from here also you can find all these in the OPM website as well
So let's copy and paste both of them at the same time so to save save some time. Okay, so we installed everything here. So right now you can test to see if it is working or not. The best way to test is writing flow dash dash help. So flow is a command that is come with the OPM. So basically when you are running if you want to run a data file in OPM, you are writing flow, for example, that the name of that data file. So let's see if we have flow here. So if you see something like this, uh, it means that flow is working. So to test the flow, we use the flow help. So if you, you are getting this kind of message, it means that you already installed OPM successfully in your machine. Then what we need to do is that we are going to get some of the files from the OPM and going to run our first uh, OPM simulation. So I'm going to create a folder and call that OPM tutorial and then going to change my directory to opium tutorial so right now I have an empty uh, empty folder opium tutorial and I want to bring all the opium files here in opium tutorial to get the files you you can use widget and then you can give the address from github so this command is going to get the, all the files from the uh, master branch of that git file for OPM and it's going to have it's going to save all these files in the master.zip. So if you check the files, you, you can see that we have master.zip here. So this is a file that we, we get from the GitHub. So we need to unzip this. So you can write unzip master.zip. So basically it's going to unzip all those files and if you check, you have master and zip here and unzip one is the opm dash data dash master so let's go to this opm data and here this is the what we have inside that folder so let's go to the spe1 folder and here you can see that we have a data file bunch of data files so we want to run one of those data files so to run it, you can run flow and then name of that data file that data. So like Eclipse, it's going to run all the steps and it's going to save the uh, final version. So it's, it's going to save the results. So if you check the files, you can see that in addition of that data file, right, right now you have eGrid file and a bunch of other files that are generated with the uh, simulation. So this part in Eclipse, Eclipse is doing this part as well. So you, you give the data file to the Eclipse and it's going to run and create all these uh, results for you. So the next step is to, you want to also see the, these results. So you want to see what, what are, for example, degrees and what are the saturations in different degrees and what is the for example where how where pressure is changing how uh, flow rate is changing in different wells so for that we need to install another software so to see the grids and the visualize all the, all the grids we need resin side so we need to install resin side because we already install all this so what you need to do is just run need to run these two commands and then it's going to install res inside you can check you can write res inside with capital r and i and then it is going to open this environment for you so here you can click on file, open project. So you already have a project in there. So it's a 
just click on this one and you can see you can go to that spe1 that you already run here the folder and then you can click on spe1 case one egress and then you can open and as you can see here we have this nice visualized reservoir and then you can check the different saturation in different time steps so we already installed the so let's back here we already installed uh vm then we installed ubuntu in vm we installed all packages that related to opm and we run our first opm uh opm data file or opm simulation and with the resin site we, we visualize that simulation I'm going to explain all these steps in detail in the next video. So this is just overview and uh, installing of OPM. So this. No, I don't want to save it. So. Mm. Okay. Now the next step is that if you want to see, for example, the data in the each well, so you can check it in res data so let's install res data here so it's going to install res data so you can use for example summary.x command to see all the data that you have in the simulation mm, just a minute oh, okay here. Yeah. so this is showing that in that simulation you have for example what is the injection rate well property injection well properties production well properties and saturation in different places and so on so you have all those information that you need for uh, you are looking for in any reservoir simulation are listed here so you have all those information so to see that information in details, I mean to see the numbers, you can just write like this summary.x and then data file and then for example you want the bottom hole pressure for the injection well and it's going to list all those pressures in different time steps. So this, this is it. So what we did, we installed VM, we installed Ubuntu in VM and also we install packages for opm resin side and res data so all these packages and the disk uh, opm can do anything that almost anything that you are look you are doing in eclipse here in open source environment so you can easily use this open source for your case studies or if you are students for your projects see you in next video that which i'm going to show you in detail what you can do with OPM and how you can write your data file and load it here in OPM and extract all the information simulation informations from OPM. See you in next video.